problem that we're looking to solve here is how do we uh, continue to increase the amount of capacity uh, network operators can put on an individual fiber. There's two ways to do it. One is increasing the amount of bits per hertz, so increasing the complexity and the modulation of the signals that you're transmitting to get more amount of capacity in a given amount of spectrum. Unfortunately, we're reaching the ends of that with uh, Shannon's limit, uh, where we pretty much capped out on how much information you can put in a given amount of spectrum. Hence, the only alternative now is to increase the amount of spectrum uh, that you can work with. So this is what we're focused on, is increase, finding ways to increase the amount of information one can put on an individual fiber, hence maximizing uh, the return on the investment of each one of those fibers. So again, the, the objective here is to get more information on every fiber, uh, maxed out with uh, spectral efficiency, we're moving to expanding the amount of capacity, amount of spectrum uh, that one can use on a fiber. There's two real key approaches to that. One is tackling the C-band. You can actually expand the C-band into what something in Panera is uh, calling the Super C, uh, which adds about 30% incremental spectrum in the C-band. That's beneficial because you can use all the same amplifiers, all the same rotor modules, uh, and still get more capacity within that spectrum but that is only about a 30% increase in, uh, spectral, in spectrum that you can use. The alternative or incremental approach you can use is moving into a different optical spectrum band. Uh, the next band that we move into, it's the easiest to operate optical signals performing the best in this, uh, is the L band. Uh, so this is kind of the two approaches, uh, expanding the C band and what we call the super C band, and then adding a uh, completely incremental band. Adding the L band will actually double the capacity of the fiber. The challenge with L-band, of course, is it requires different sets of amplifiers, uh, often more expensive amplifiers, more expensive uh, lasers. Most lasers are only tunable across one band at a time. So there's certainly benefits to it uh, because it will double the capacity of the fiber, but it does come at an incremental cost, uh, although less than the cost of laying new fiber. So this is the, really the two key approaches, expanding the usable spectrum in the C-band and then expanding into incremental bands of the L-band in particular. Uh, and all of these are, again, ways that network operators can maximize the investment or the return on the investment of that fiber they put in the ground. What you'll notice is this is increment, increasingly valuable in different parts of the network. The more valuable the fiber plant is, uh, the more important it is to get as much capacity out of every fiber that you can. So you're seeing expansions into Super C and L band really focused on long haul regional type networks maybe a little bit less in the metro where it's not quite so difficult to, to pull new fibers and there's more fibers to work with. When you talk about the submarine networks, they're challenged in other ways because uh, they're really power limited uh, and they can only support a certain number of wavelengths, period. So you're not really seeing a lot of expansion to L-band in the submarine cables because you can't power more wavelengths even if you had spectrum to use. So uh, you're really seeing most of the interest in, in super C and L in the long haul and regional networks. One thing that you do want to do when designing systems uh, is you want to, particularly optical line systems, is you want to make sure that you're uh, that those systems are seamlessly expandable into these incremental spectrums, right? And two, two real aspects, right? One is that adding the uh, L-band amplifiers, L-band rotoms, things like that, that has to be a seamless upgrade from your existing system. It can't, you can't have, it can't be where you have to replace any existing equipment, swap stuff out. That makes it too operationally complex. Uh, and the more you can have these systems in their work together, because not every system is going to be C plus L. You're going to have some C, C, C band systems, some L band systems. So you need to make sure that they can seamlessly interwork together where you can have a, a collection of nodes that are only C band and they can seamlessly interface with a collection of nodes that are C plus L. And you can get wavelengths all the way through that entire network. So you really need to make sure as you're designing your line system that these things are thought about from day one uh, to be able to be expanded into these incremental uh, spectrum solutions and still work seamlessly together. Hello everyone, uh, I'm Matthias Friedström from Aurelion, uh, one of the largest carrier in the world. Uh, and we've just introduced the L-band to our network. And the simple reason behind that is of course that it's the absolute best way of increasing your capacity on a certain route if your limitation is only one fiber pair. So on a number of routes in our network, we lease one fiber pair. And traditionally, you could always take out the old gear and replace it with new gear, but that's not happening anymore. But then, due to some fantastic development among optical operators, and in Infinera in this case, we've actually started to use the L-band in the network. So not only the C-band, but the L-band, which gives us twice as much capacity on the same fiber pair as we were already using. So for us, this is a golden opportunity to grow our network without increasing our costs much more than it costs to build out 
the network equipment itself. So for us, L-band is a really, really good solution to increase the capacity in the network. The amplifiers themselves are the same. You know, the obviously we need to put more gear in the ends of the traffic, but the amplifiers are the same. And therefore, it's a very smooth way of increasing your capacity without too heavy of an investment. Of course, you need more gear in the ends, more transponders to send the traffic. But along the way, the amplifiers are the same. And therefore, it's a very smooth way of increasing your capacity in your network. The next is just the next route. We have a, a huge American network. This is one of the first routes we're using this. The, the routes are now lined up and we will just continue to buy this equipment to increase the capacity in the backbone network. The next route is the next route and then there will be another after that. We, we really look forward to work with Infineer on this technology.